All right, guys, I know y'all saw this coming. I know y'all saw this coming because we've been talking about Zhao and, of course, Ayaka in 1.2 a lot lately. Now, of course, it's only natural to put out a video on, you know it, you guessed it, the absolute best build for Zhao. Now, I did a lot, and I mean a lot of research and a lot of digging and on this character and on gear sets that are potentially the best for him. And in this video, I am going to explain the team comp that's going to be best with him, his gear set, and exactly why the team comp and gear set will be really, really good with him, as well as his weapon. So, before we get into this video, if you are new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 1,500. We are almost at 1,100 subscribers, guys. I thank y'all so much for the support recently. And let's keep on growing. Y'all already know. Whisker Gang on top. I love y'all. And also drop a like down below. You're going to enjoy this content. Anyway, let's get right into this video. Okay, so guys, as you know, Zhao is an animal user. And I want to first get into... Actually, yeah, I want to first get into this character. So I can explain potential things that you can actually do with him, right? So as you all know, he is probably going to be the best DPS once he comes out. Depending on how you build him, you're going to have to have really good RNG, guys. And let's talk about his skills real quick, right? So we have Zhao's skills, which is his normal attack, where he performs up to six rapid strikes. He is a full arm user, which is an ammo, right? These are his damages right here. You can pause the video to see. I think you can't see because my head is in the way. <laughs> okay, so it's one hit damage is 24 plus 24%, two hit damage 50%, three hit damage 60%, four hit damage 38, uh, 33 plus 32%. 5 hit damage is 63%, 6 hit damage is 84%, his charge attack damage is 65%, and his height damage, or aka his plunge damage, is 130 to 195%. Now, we have his elemental skill, which is called Limb Scatic Wind Cycling. This is the elemental skill. He lunges forward, dealing animal damage to enemies along the path, and this can be used in midair, and he has two refreshes of this. Just like Klee has her two Jumpy Dumpies, he has two Limb Scatic Wind Cycling. Meaning he could do it in quick succession, or he could just do one, and then wait for another one, and then do another one. And it has a 10 second cooldown, so that is not a bad cooldown compared to Klee's cooldown, which is damn long, man. I can't stand that cooldown. But so it's not that really bad of a cooldown, right? And then this is where he really, really shines. It's called Bane of All Evil. This is his elemental burst. He takes on the form of a Yaksha. Um, I'm not going to explain all that. Basically, demons and archons were scared of him, basically. And you have this this ultra looking demon form right that deals animal damage it converts everything to animal damage and right here it increases Zhao's attack range and damage while converting attack like I said to animal and enhancing Zhao's jumping ability now y'all are like what's the point of jumping guys y'all know by now y'all have watched all my Zhao videos this man's jump is going to say <laughs> he, he is a monster with his jump because of what you can do with the plunge damage right so this enhances his Zhao's jumping ability, and this you can maintain this form, but at a cost of th uh, you have five no you have three percent of your HP taken each second. And this form, as you can see, has a duration of 15 seconds. So you're gonna be losing a lot of health, <laughs> not a lot, but you're gonna be losing a decent amount of health once you go into this form. So, I mean, but at the same time. He gains so much. I'm hoping that they don't nerf him. I'm going to show you this video. It's right here. I'm going to show you exactly what he can do and his best build. But I'm going to, I'm going to tell you his best build first probably and then what he can do, right? So, you have his increased damage, which is 68.8% when he is in a Yakusha form. His HP loss is 3 HP per second. 3% uh, HP per second. His duration is 15 seconds in this form. The cooldown is 15 seconds and the energy cost is 60. Now, I want to talk about his passive talents. We're not going to talk about his constellation because that will be saved for another video. And yeah, so let's talk about his passive talents, right? He has this uh, unlock at Ascension 1, Evil Conquerors, Tamer of Demons. Uh, it says right here, starting Bane of All Evil increases Zhao's damage by 5%. After this, Zhao's damage continues to increase by 5% every 3 seconds for a max of 25% increase. Meaning, you have 15 seconds on, you have 15 seconds in the Yakusha form. And then you have a max of 25% from 5 stacks each 3 seconds. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You will get a n more damage added on to your Yakusha form. Not only will you have the 68.8%, you will also have the 25%, well, slowly, gradually going up to 25%. But all you need to know is that you're slowly getting stronger and stronger while you're in this form, even though you're losing HP. At least the HP doesn't increase, like, 
it doesn't like the the amount of HP you lose doesn't increase because if that was the case that would have been really really bad so now we have his other passive which is unlocked at ascension 4 when the limb scatic cycling which is his elemental skill is used it increases all subsequent limb scatic wind cycling's damage by 10% for six seconds this is a max of three stacks and the duration refreshes with new stacks so actually it can be loophole I think you could do boom, you hit him, and then you have the 10 uh 10% for six seconds, wait like four seconds, and then do the next one. So by the time you have the next one static, you can do more damage. So you just have to time it. It's, it's, this character is gonna take a little skill. And then you also have his right here, gravity uh gravity defier, which is like a map thing, like every character has. Basically, all parties member fall damage is decreased by 30%. So let's get on to what is his best build. Alright, guys, this is gonna be his best build. Gladiators finale now this is not it's not just going to be gladiators finale you're probably saying well isn't that obvious no because there are certain substats that you're going to be looking for on this gladiators of finale set and I'm going to go over that right now so as you know the gladiator basically every set in the game has the flower and the feather and the feather is the plume of death basically gives you more attack the flower is the life thing gives you more health right but we do have these three other these three other pieces that can have any main stat. Now what you want to look for when you're creating the set for Zhao is animal damage, also attack percent damage, as well as crit damage. And the reason you want to look for these is because not only are you getting boosted once you put the two piece set on him for plus 18 percent attack that's going towards everything his elemental uh his elements as well as his normal attack damage and all that right but then when you get the four piece if the wielder of this artifact uses a sword claymore a pole arm aka he uses a pole arm increases their normal attack damage by 35 percent so he's going to be doing a lot more damage and then not only is he going to do that damage, but he's also going to do the main stat on whether you have it on your crown, your cup, or your eon. He's going to be doing the main stat of attack as well as having a crit damage, as well as having a animal damage. Because you're going to need you're going to need these three when you get this set because he needs them absolutely. But it doesn't actually stop here because I want to talk about it's not only that it, this character can be built, he can be a lone wolf, but he. It's better to do it like this. He has a certain comp that can make him extremely overpowered. And I'm going to talk about that in one moment. But like I said, Gladiator's Finale 4-piece set on Zhao would be monstrous. And if you can, on the 5th piece, get like a uh, crit rate. Like if you say, for example, nah, nah, nah. You want crit damage. It's, it's either you could do crit rate or crit damage, but I feel like you should do crit damage. Most likely, you're going to do crit damage. And on your substats of these, you want to have crit rate. As much as possible, you want to have crit rate and crit damage on all your substats basically right so you want crit damage on the uh, crown you want animal damage on the cup or you can switch them around doesn't matter and you want attack percent on the eon you want that's what you want on the gladiator set once you build your your zhao right now i want to explain his support and why y'all are probably like why do you have sucrose on the screen well there is a very valid reason it's because sucrose and Zhao combined make a basically devastating duo. You're probably asking why. Well, if you don't know, let's go ahead and go to Sucrose. I'm sorry I have not leveled up my Sucrose yet. I still have to level people up. Anyway, we have her two talents right here, our passives, right? Her first passive is when Sucrose triggers a squirrel reaction, all characters in the party with the matching element, excluding Sucrose, have their elemental mastery increased by 50 for 8 seconds. Meaning, once she uses Squirrel, she increases Zhao's elemental mastery by 50 for 8 seconds. And that's that's not the only thing, because they're both animal users, so she's the same attribute, so she's going to increase him by 50. This is where it also comes in, because once she uses her elemental skill, which is this right here, once she uses her elemental skill, or once she uses her elemental burst to hit an opponent, this increases all party members, excluding her, doesn't matter, <laughs> elemental mastery by the amount equal to 20% of Sucrose's elemental mastery for 8 seconds. So what we're saying is she's going to increase the elemental mastery of the team or of aka Zhao for 50 plus 20% of her elemental mastery. Now, this is where you have to build a... I'm, I'm going to surprise you. Let me just go to it, right? Yeah, you guessed it. A very decent or very decent Werner's... Bariners, I'm sorry guys, the VV Diadem or VV set, right? You want to build 
this this sucrose once you get Zhao, you want to build sucrose around the vv set you're probably saying why would i build her around the ver ver distant, very distant very decent set i am sorry <laughs> well not only does it grant the two piece set grants animal damage plus 50 percent that's not where it really matters what really matters is this four piece set increases swell damage by 60 percent and decreases the opponent's elemental res to the element infused in the swirl by 40% for 10 seconds. What does this mean, Whisker Chen? What does this mean? Well, this means that once you do her elemental skill, not only are you proccing her passive to give plus 50 uh, elemental mastery to Zhao, you're also proccing the passive of giving him plus 20% of her elemental mastery, right? And then you're decreasing the elemental res of the enemy, right? So once you decrease their elemental res, they're going to be decreased to swirl, meaning swirl is going to do tons of more damage, and you're going to be racking up those numbers with Zhao. That's and and what you mostly want to look for when you build your sucrose, when you build your sucrose set, is you're looking for elemental mastery because elemental mastery is what's going to you need. The more elemental mastery you have, the more of that 20% of sucrose's elemental mastery Zhao is going to get, and the more of that he gets the more damage he's going to do because of the reactions, right? And the reason this is also so good is because once you do Zhao's elemental burst where he goes into the Yaksha form, it lasts for 15 seconds, right? So once you go ahead and do that, you have this 4 piece set, right? And then also decreases the opponent's elemental resistance or res to the swirl by 40% for 10 seconds. Meaning once you go into his form, not only are you getting all his buffs and all of his artifact buffs and artifact crit damage and uh, not hydro damage, animal damage, you are also going to be doing, <laughs> guys, you're also going to be doing tons of swirl damage on Zhao when he transforms. Meaning the elemental res will be decreased by 40%. Meaning it's just complete obliteration, right? And the good thing about this is once you're once you're in Yakusha form, it lasts for 15 seconds. This lasts for 10 seconds. This is basically the equivalent of 5, 10, okay, 3, 6, 9. You will have plus 15% attack on your Zhao by the time this basically ends, plus the 68.8%, which you ba basically just have on him naturally on his elemental burst. And it's and also all of his artifacts attack and crit damage and all that right so he's going to be buffed up to the max sucrose and zhao are basically the perfect duo for each other because what sucrose is going to do is she's going to buff him up and what Zhao's going to do is he's going to buff himself and then get the buffs from sucrose and do tons of damage to the field and this can also be combined with bennett guys this does this 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 definitely can be combined with Bennett, and it will be really good if you also use Bennett to do his use him for his elemental burst, as well as you know mix him up with Sucrose and Zhao because that would just make I I think the game's gonna see a different number of damage on the day Zhao releases if this is actually like if they don't nerf him. Okay, we're gonna see different numbers. This is gonna be absolutely insane, and I absolutely can't wait to try this. I can't try I can't wait to try. Sucrose, Zhao, and my boy Bennett. I can't wait to try this this trio as well as another unit, of course. Y'all already know I'm probably gonna run uh Kaya or something. I don't know. One of those characters, another support character. Because Zhao, he is a really, really good DPS, like by himself. Don't get me wrong, he's really really good by himself. He busts himself up really good. But if you have a animal user on your team that has the very decent set, like the four piece set, to support him. He is monstrous, and especially if it's Sucrose since her passive procs everything basically. Like, her literally as soon as you do her elemental skill, passives are procced, both passives are procced, and then you are doing the swirl damage, right? So that increases your swirl damage uh, 60%, right? Decreases your opponent's elemental res to that swirl damage by 40% for 10 seconds. And while you're in the Yakusha form of Zhao, you're going to have an opponent that has de decreased 40% res, then you're gonna have the animal damage plus on your artifacts that I told you you should get or try your best to get because the RNG is like really really bad you already know you're to get the perfect set for Zhao you'd have to be really really lucky or just keep farming every day right so that is really it for the build and for the team comp and that's how the team comp works I'm sorry if it's, it's a little confusing but basically let me try to break it down one you have Zhao which has his, uh, you know he has swirl damage on his elemental skill, and once he does his elemental burst, all of his attacks do swirl damage, right? And then you have the gladiator set on him, which has crit damage on your, uh, your, your cup, and then you have animal damage on your Eon, and then you have attack percent on your crown, or you can mix them up, doesn't matter, right? And then, after that, 
what you want to do is you want to get a sucrose or any animal user but sucrose is preferred because of how she works in her passive and how it really supports uh, Zhao even more right because of her passive you already know what she does you have her for a passive you want to max out her um you want to max out her elemental mastery like I said because realize that her passive is her 20% that she, she is giving to the team is based on of her elemental mastery the more elemental mastery she has the more your team will gain once you proc her passive right so you want to build her very distant set you want to have at least your goblet or you want at least your eon to have elemental mastery or at least two of them to have elemental mastery and then what you want is your crown to have elemental mastery <laughs> so basically the more just Get as much elemental mastery as you can because you know how she works. The more elemental mastery she has, the more she's going to support Zhao. And the more she supports Zhao, like I said, this four piece set is going to extremely make him broken, right? It's going to make him broken, right? So, anyway, that is the set, that is the team comp, and that is what you should run on your Zhao when, once he comes to Genshin, which is, like I said, 1.3 in March. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm going to link them at the end of the video. So, make sure to stay tuned for that, right? So, let's go ahead and go look at some gameplay. Alright guys, as you can see, we have Zhao right here. This is a level 80 Zhao. I showed this in my previous video, but if you have not watched my previous video, well guys, now you are getting to watch this right here. This was in the previous video, and this shows a Zhao level 80's damage. And now, you're probably like, okay, what's he gonna do? Let me show you, let me show you what he does, right? And this is, I feel like, they're gonna nerf him, but they have no right to nerf him because his... Literally, look at that damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. And his damage, realize, every 3 seconds his damage increases by 5%, guys. Every five, uh, every 3 seconds in this form, his damage increases by 5%. And if you have Sucrose with him, imagine what you can do. Imagine the, the, the more damage, as well as if you have Bennett. Imagine the damage you can do in the game. Like, it would be massive, guys. And that's that's it. That's really it. I just wanted to go shout out to shout out to Aaron A R R E N. He has his footage of a level 80 1440p. Thank you for not, not the 360p. Thank you for having a really high quality video. But anyway, level 82 Hydro Hypostasis versus level 80 Zhao or level 90 Zhao. So this is this is beautiful. This is absolutely insane. Like I said, I hope they don't nerf him. They have no right to nerf him because he does. Look how much health he lost just from being in the Yaksha form. He lost over a quarter of his health just from being in the Yaksha form, as you can see. So, I feel like that's more balanced. If they increase how much HP he loses, it would suck. But at the same time, if his damage still looks the same, it would kind of be worth. But hopefully, they don't nerf him at all and they don't touch him. Because there are characters in this game that are even more broken. Y'all have seen Child. He's, he, is, he does some damage. <laughs> so, I feel like they, they have no right to nerf him. He's going to be perfectly fine. And like I said, you just want to build him around, let me go down down here as well. You just want to build him around uh, the gladiator set right here. And like I said, have attack percent, animal damage, or crit damage. Or not nah, all three of them, if you possibly can have all three of them on your crown, your cup, and your eon. You want all three of them if you possibly could get it. And on your sucrose, don't forget that you need, and I mean you need to have the very decent, very decent set. So that you can have that four piece set. And so that once you proc... Her passive, it's not only going to be her passive that's going to be going onto Zhao, it's also going to be the 4-piece Veridis Veridis set, so she could, he could do way more damage. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but he's going to be a monster. This is going to be a really good support team for him. That's what I feel like. If you have a different support team, comment down below what it looks like. Alright, let's go over what weapon is best for him and why. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the Primordial Jade Wing Spear. And this is already in game. This is not new. But what I feel like they're going to do once they launch Zhao in um, Mar not March in February of next year, they're going to just like they did Child, put a weapon banner out that has a weapon that's five star that works the best with the character. Now this is probably going to be the featured weapon, which is the Primal Radial Jade Wing Spear. You're probably saying why? Well, not only does it have the best bonus effect in the game, which is crit rate. So it's it's letting it's giving you this crit rate so that you could do this massive crit damage and also have the animal damage and the attack percent, right? And then also the skill. On hit, this increases your attack by 3.2% for a max of six seconds. And this is for a max of seven stacks, guys. So let's do the math real quick. That is a max of 22.4 plus percent attack for six seconds. So I'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty, yeah, this can only occur every 0.3 seconds. That's pretty balanced. While in possession of the maximum possible stack, damage dealt is increased by 12%. So once you get this 22.4% max stack, right? You not only get that, you also get another 12% increased attack because once you have the max stack, that is just what it does, right? That is absolutely insane. And guys, now this spear is in game. You can go check any any anything like you can literally check any weapons banner you can check the characters banner and check the weapons it is a five star weapon and it is been it has been in the game since 1.0 version 1.0 so this is the best weapon for him because it's gonna boost his attack even more and the, like i said the more attack you have on this character the better it is and in this video if you didn't notice that is the exact same spear he has he has the spear right here look boom as you can see he has the spear right here that's really cool how this uh, this player literally had max level Zhao. He probably had a gladiator set on him with animal damage uh, main stat as well as crit damage and attack. He probably had everything that we're talking about in this video. And he also has the weapon. The weapon that is probably going to have is going to be a featured weapon banner when he comes out. Just like they did Child with his featured uh, bow banner that just came out with, with him, right? So that's going to be really cool. I feel like you should not summon on this weapon though because like... There's, I mean, you can, because what we're inevitably all saving for is Zhao. So going all out for him, like going for a Constellation 6, going for his weapon, everything, that's okay. Even though the next banner after that, which is the next patch, is 1.4, you're going to be getting, you're not only, well, 1.3, you're also getting more characters as well, which is way, way the 5-star Electro user that has Claymore. So... It's really debatable whether you should go for this weapon when he comes out or not. That will be for another video. But basically, this is his best weapon. And I told you his best gear set and everything. That is literally it. His team comp, all that. We went over all that in this video. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. But I feel like this is going to be a broken, and I mean broken build for him. And I can't wait to test it out. I'm going to go ahead and start farming these materials for him. Because it's going to be a while before he comes. And I'm going to need everything he needs. Right? So, anyway, guys. That's really about it for this video. If you did enjoy this video. If this video was very informational to you. To show you exactly th that Zhao is absolutely going to be broken. He can be broken. He has a broken team comp. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 1,500. We are almost at 1,100 subscribers, guys. Go ahead and click that button down below. And drop a like down below if you enjoyed this content. Which I know you did. So, anyway, guys. I will catch you in the next video. And I love you. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out. Hope it helped.